again, that's a changing of the guard. It seems like Alexis was our kicker forever, and he did just a great, great job for us. But I'm really excited about, you know, the transition with Justin because I think that, uh, you know, th this guy's talented. He is uh, very, very mentally tough, which Alexis, you know, he, he wrote the book on mental toughness and preparation and perseverance and all that, which has got to be a trademark for a kicker. So uh, I, I think Justin not only has that in him, but he, he had a good mentor uh, in being around Alexis. And he is, he's up for this and ready. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Of course, Alexis Cerna won't be the only legend the Beavers will have to replace in 2008. Gone also is Oregon State's second all-time leading rusher, Evanson Bernard. Now from Bernard to Steven Jackson to Ken Simonton, the running backs have always been a key part of OSU's success on the field. The latest in the line of Beaver backs is ready to take his opportunity and run with it. Here's more now on Ryan McCants. Smith hands to Simonton. Simonton around the corner. A blitz. They're setting up a screen. Jackson has some blockers. Jackson into the clear. Touchdown, Oregon State. And Bernard over the top. Touchdown. Bernard went up and he stuck that ball over the lead, no doubt. Over the past decade, Oregon State has developed an impressive tradition of elite tailbacks. And Ryan McCants could be the latest to add to that tradition. The redshirt freshman has a combination of size and speed that is uncommon in college football. And because of that, it's not hard to pick which of those three Beaver greats he most resembles. You feel like you kind of run a little bit like Steven Jackson? Um, I mean, I watch some film on him. We have our similarities, but those are, we have our differences too. What I think his main attribute is, is obviously his power, but his ability to wake, make one move and then slash. I mean, he's not going to make a bunch of moves. Like Quiz can make a bunch of moves and, and keep going full speed, but he's pretty scary when he makes that one cut and heads downfield. It's uh, he'll bring a load. Despite the fact that McCants has yet to suit up for the Beavers in a game, Mike Riley has a good handle on his tailback strengths. He was a standout as a scout team player in 2007, and McCants impressed this past spring, especially in the spring game where he rushed for 57 yards on 16 carries. Despite the comparisons to Jackson, McCants learned a lot about the game from watching Evanson Bernard. He practiced hard, he, he could, he could uh, run the ball, he could block, uh, pass block, and uh, he could catch out of the backfield. And that's one of the things uh, Coach Davis wants us to really emulate um, and uh, uh, trying to be like Ev. As Ryan McCants opens up his college career in 2008, he'll do so with deference to the past, but the ability to carve out his own niche in the future. McCants, though, won't be alone in the effort to keep the ground game going this upcoming season. Junior Jeremy Francis should also see his share of carries. In reality, though, the Beavers could end up featuring a multi-pronged rushing attack in 2008, and the most talented feat in that rushing attack could belong to Jacquez Rogers. As you'll soon find out, the Texas high school legend is small in stature, but big on talent. And switch. Left side. He stood above the pack nearly his entire career. But as he starts out college, Jacquez Rogers starts out as just another face in the crowd. Stay off the ground when you switch. For some, it can be a little humbling. You've been the man for so long on your team, and now you're coming to a Pac-10 team. You may not be able to be the man right away. Is that going to be okay with you? I'm all right with that. You know, I just got to work my way back up the ladder. At OSU, he may be starting out at the bottom, oh. but in his career here to four, he has seen the heights. Boy, has he. The 5'6 running back put together one of the most storied prep careers in Texas history. At his Houston area high school, Rogers' accomplishments were almost too many to name. But to name a few, he rushed for 2,000 yards three straight years. He ran for 8,246 yards in his career, which is sixth best ever in the state of Texas and 20th nationally. He led his school to a 37-4 record the last three seasons, including a state championship as a senior. And oh yeah, he scored 136 career touchdowns, which is more than anyone's ever scored in the history of Texas prep football. Touchdown. 
But in Corvallis this summer, he's simply one of 19 incoming freshmen trying to prove himself, trying to get acclimated to his new environment. Yeah, I just want to get comfortable and learn new plays and just get to know everybody. Luckily for Jacquez, he has a surrogate of sorts in his older brother James. He got to do what I did because when I came up here, I didn't know anyone. So I'm going to just let him go on his own, find his way. A little tough love from bro should be nothing for Jacquez. After all, he's made a career out of finding his way, and it usually leads to the end zone. Well, I think I just go out there and compete. That's what I do well. And that all makes you think the Beavers could have another banner year in the rushing department. Now, coming up, it's time to talk a little defense. Last year was a banner year for the Beaver D. Now, as for this year, well, everyone's wondering if OSU is rebuilding or just reloading. Coming up, we'll introduce you to a host of new faces determined to make sure it's the left. Don't go away.